My perception of the way black males are, are portrayed in media is we've been trained as, uh, portrayed as gangsters, thugs, uh, uneducated, only the small roles. We can't play something where we actually have to think or we're at the top of the line with being critical. We always have to take a role that's less than, or put on a dress if we're gonna be a part of something that's a leading role. I think it's, it's unfair. Uh, I think it's something that we as African-American men have to look beyond those roles because we're better than that. And these are something that we have to demand moving forward. I think that black males are portrayed as such by the media consistently. I think certain networks decide to look at males in a certain way. Uh, they have an image of what they think is going to sell. And as African-Americans, we tend to buy exactly what they stereotype us as. And so we got to change that narrative and uh, not allow media to decide which direction we're going to go, but decide ourselves which direction we want to play in the roles that we want. Black males have to say no to roles that don't fit us. We have to be willing to stand up, no matter what the cost is, no matter how much money is involved, we have to take a stand in order to make changes happen. You look at social media and these people are becoming these uh, viral videos that are out there and they're paying them to be buffoons. You know, we work hard to get away from being from the buffoonery. We work hard to get away from the black faces and white lips and red lipstick on. And so we cannot dummy down for a check. Stop selling out for a check and remember what that means for us as a race because when one person does it then that opens up the networks to believe that they can offer these type roles to anybody and begin to stereotype us as those uh, uh, individuals who are woman beaters and those who are not family men and who are not real fathers who are not doing their job and so if we allow money to be our aim then we're going to continue this narrative of negative uh, uh, thought process. I change the narrative means a lot to me. As an African American man, it's my responsibility to be the I change the narrative in my community. What does that mean? It means stepping into a school and providing a safe passage. So I've done that by creating a program in Washington, D.C. and throughout the country called Man the Block, where we are watch making sure that our kids are getting to and from school safely, that we're at the bus stops, we're promoting excellence. I am uh, change the narrative is one of those things that I started my own school school because I saw the bureaucracy in the traditional public school system that were using our kids as pawns and nobody was using their voice to stand up because they were selling out for a check. I changed the narrative is a person that understands that being a father and being a, a family man is so important uh, as we move forward in changing the whole community because the more positive African American male images that are out there, the, the better our community is going to be. I changed the narrative by creating the Richard Wright Public Charter School for Journalism and Media Arts in Washington, D.C., the only public charter school, public high school in the country that focuses on journalism and media arts, where we are, are making sure that, it, that we create young people who will change the media circle and they will go out and have positive media about them, positive media about their communities and change what's being, uh, other than what's being reported on the news at four, five, and six every day of the week and people begin to think that all young people are negative when they're not. We can change media perceptions of black males by being more black males being involved in positivity, showing more images of African American males being very positive, being involved with everything and refusing to post negative images out there. People can't uh, report negative images if we don't allow them to. So we have to be controllers of that, ensuring that even though it looks fun or it was fun, don't put it out for the world to see, but put those images out there that will help change the narrative of what we're doing.